You are tuned in to Educate. Welcome. My name is Pilan Gabriel Mapira. Today we're going to be talking about global warming. So what is global warming? So basically global warming is the increase in temperature on Earth. So this is global warming, the increase in temperature on Earth increase in temperature on Earth. Supposedly, the temperature of the Earth was 37 and then tomorrow is now 50 something. So that is just the increase of temperature on Earth. So you can see this, this is just a chart or this is a graph that is a line graph that is representing how global warming has changed over the years from 1970 to 2010. So you can see here, 1970, the global warming here, the temperature, the temperature was between 0 and 0, 0,1. And then it went back to minus 0, 0,1. And then it rised to nearly 0, 0,2. So it continues rising and rising. You can see that here in 2000, it was here. So comparing 2000 to 1970, there, there's been global warming taking place. So there's an increase which is represented by this line here. This line is representing an increase in temperature. So that is basically what global warming is about. So let's explore more on global warming. So let's see what causes global warming. So global warming is caused by the ban of more fossil fuels because which cause the release of more carbon dioxide so if you are burning fossil fuels you can re increase the release of carbon dioxide remember when we talked about the greenhouse effect carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas which means it can be trapped in the lower atmosphere and will cause excess heat so that carbon dioxide, which is coming from the bent fossil fuels, will be released into the lower atmosphere and that will cause global warming. And then deforestation leads to trees to absorb more carbon dioxide, leads to less trees to absorb uh, carbon dioxide. So deforestation. So if you are going to deforestate, what is to deforestate is basically the cut down of trees. So if you are going to cut down trees, you will be now reducing the absorption of carbon dioxide. Remember that the trees are significant because they can absorb carbon dioxide. Why can they absorb carbon dioxide? Because carbon dioxide for trees is used to uh, to photosynthesize and release oxygen, which is safer for us humans for, for breathing in. Therefore, if you are going to cut this tree that absorbs the carbon dioxide, the carbon dioxide won't be absorbed and then it will cause, it will lead to global warming. So the carbon dioxide will be trapped in the lower atmosphere, causing the greenhouse gas effect to trap that heat and then release it back to the earth. Then it becomes an increase in temperature of the earth. So deforestation can lead to less trees absorbing that carbon dioxide and then increase of methane due to rice plantations so if you are going to if you are going to 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 plant rice so rice will be able to release more methane as we discussed in the in, in the greenhouse effect so remember that methane is also a greenhouse gas it means it can be trapped in the lower atmosphere so greenhouse effect and global warming goes in hand in hand so the methane as a greenhouse gas can be trapped in the atmosphere therefore the rice plantation which causes the methane more in, in, increase of methane that methane will be trapped in the lower atmosphere causing excess heat which leads to global warming and then use of fertilizers release nitrogen oxide so if you're going to use so many fertilizers you're going to, to to release nitrogen oxides which can also lead to global warming and then here let's look at the consequences of global warming so global warming has got certain consequences so there will be more rain and more droughts in some areas. So there will be more rain and more droughts since there will be what? There will be excess heat in the globe or in the earth. So some plant and animal species may become distinct. By distinct, it means that they can, they can actually come extinct here. So 
they can actually be extincted or they can actually be, be because some animals or some animal species cannot survive certain conditions. Therefore, if, they, if there is global warming, there will be excess heat all around the atmosphere. So that excess heat will cause some animals to be extinct or to be distinct. So those animals can be actually be killed by the rising, continuous rising temperatures during global warming. So there will be destruction of tropical forests. So tropical forests, remember, they con they, they, like, like the fine balls, they usually, co they usually contain certain plants, the green plants and all that stuff. Those green plants are adapted to no, not to a dry land. So if there is cl excess global warming, there will be more heat and it will destroy those tropical forests, which also contribute a lot in tourism. So there will be less water resources because water will be continuously evaporating. Remember that water evaporates because there's a presence of heat. So that presence of, uh, of excess heat will, will, will lead to continuous, um, continuous evaporation. So there will be less water resources and then less crops, thus more hunger and malnutrition. So there will be less crops because there will be less water resources to plant more crops. Therefore, it will, will lead to hunger and malnutrition. So that's basically about the global warming. And then this is more. Okay, it continues and said melting of glaciers and ice caps. So there are certain ice caps that are that are found in certain lands. So these will be melted because of the excess heat in the globe. So increasing diseases like malaria, malaria and cholera. So these diseases really go well, go, go hand in hand with, the, with excess heat. Therefore, if there is global warming, there will be an increased transmission of malaria and cholera. So there will be a rise in sea levels. If we, as we discussed in the greenhouse effect, it is the very same thing. The rise in sea levels is caused by the ice that is melting continuously because of the excess heat that is trapped in the lower atmosphere. So there will be an increase in uncontrolled fire. So there will be a dry land, so there will be there will be a tendency of fires to develop. So thank you for watching the global warming video.